Have you ever wondered why diesel engines last longer than gasoline ones? There have also been debates between diesel and gasoline engines, each of them having their own advantages and disadvantages. One of the biggest advantage of diesel engines is that they last longer. Now let's talk about the reasons why they last longer. One, RPM is lower compared to gasoline engines. We have gas-powered engines uh, which can reach almost 10,000 RPM experimentally. If you Google um, Mazda RX-8, you will see that uh, after tuning, these engines can surpass 10,000 RPM. But of course, we have a rotary Wankel engine. also have the Honda S2000 which also revs to around 9000 rpm and it's a classic 2 liter inline 4 gasoline engine. We will never see these rpm ranges in diesel engines and that's because diesel fuel burns slower. Diesel fuel it's more like an oil, it's greasy, it lubricates. Gasoline is more like a solvent, it cleans, it's dry. It also burns more aggressively. If you put diesel fuel and gasoline in two different jars, let's say, uh, gasoline will ignite instantaneously while diesel will start to burn very slowly. So diesel fuel burns slower. So we have a lower RPM. Also, it's a bit oily, so it tends to lubricate components. This basically extends the lifespan of the engine. If we also go to the slow diesel engines. In university, that's exactly how we learned about them. Fast diesels, which basically are diesel engines put on passenger cars, and slow diesels, which are put on commercial vehicles. If we take a closer look to a truck, we will see that it likes the RPM between 1000 and 1000 and a half RPM. Redline starts between 2000 and 2000 and a half, while idling is around 500 RPM. So the RPM range is even tighter than a commercial uh, vehicle with a diesel engine. Trucks can easily surpass 5, 6, 7 million kilometers on the autometer, while passenger cars with diesel engines can easily surpass 7 to 800,000 kilometers if they are maintained properly. Gasoline engines have some struggles when it comes to these numbers in terms of kilometers, miles, autometers, and um, the truth is only a few can manage to surpass, let's say, 800,000 or a million kilometers. Honda Civic, some Toyotas, uh, the Honda Goldwing motorcycle that we uh, discussed a few episodes ago. So it's a bit rare to see a gasoline engine with over 500,000 kilometers or let's say over uh, three, 4,000 miles without having any serious issues. In gas engines, you need to rebuild the engine, you will have oil consumption, uh, you will lose compression, you will lose power, you will have oil leaks. Well, oil leaks you will have also in diesel engines, but diesel engines tend to last longer. This is one of the main reasons why in Europe we still have lots of diesel engines, because they last longer, people don't have the money to buy let's say a gasoline engine with uh, 300,000 kilometers because they have some issues, some problems, you need to put a lot of money in that engine it, and after that it may still not work properly. So the fix is to go to buy a used diesel engine with two, three, four hundred thousand kilometers. You will put some maintenance uh, in that engine, in that car and it will still run for another 100,000 kilometer. It still surprises me that uh, in Romania, uh, we have cars uh, which are over 20 years old with a diesel engine and they still run just fine. My dad has uh, a 1.9 turbo diesel engine 
almost 300,000 kilometers. It's from 2005 and it still works just fine. However, we will have to face some new regulations, uh, some new laws, and sooner or later uh, diesel engines will be banned. We will talk more about the reason why uh, they will be banned, because there are plenty of them. But we have to keep in mind that because we have a lower RPM and because uh, we have the oily nature, let's say, of diesel fuel, basically they last a lot longer than their gasoline counterparts. Let me know in the comment section what you think about diesel engines. If you need any maintenance products, uh, you have some links to Amazon, uh, Licky Molly professional products in the video description. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next episode.